Hello guys, Chris Chekov here. Uh, Larry gave me last time under the video an uh, uh, interesting comment. He thinks that the radials from the ground vertical, what was lying always uh, below the elevated radial, when I tested it, uh, can affect the performance of the antenna. Because I moved only the antenna up and down, I not removed all radials, all 12 radials always. It's not possible in this time. I can't uh, remove 12 radials and then lay it out. It was, would take too much time. Uh, so, but yeah, this can affect maybe the antenna. And this is what I tried in, uh, to figure out in this video, if this is true. And there are really interesting results. So thanks for watching and here we go. Another test. Uh, ground vertical with 12 radials and now I will compare this with elevated position but not on the same place that the radials from the these 12 radials are not below the elevated position so maybe this affects this so it's uh, yeah some meters I would say six meters away and I will move this uh, for every transmission I will unplug the radials here, move the antenna to the elevated position with one radial. Radial is not mounted at the moment, I must make it. Uh, the ground position, a ground vertical SWR1. I will check with one radial the other. Zero for the for the one radial with, uh, with elevated vertical. <laughs> Here are the results in the Excel sheet. Uh, to sum it up, the receiving difference was minus 1.78 dB. So this means the the 12, the ground vertical with the 12 radials was minus 1.78 dB uh, worse than the vertical uh, who was lifted up. This time, like I said, on a different position, not it was not over the radials. Interesting thing is the, uh, the in the transmit was the the, trans, uh, the signal strength what uh, received the station 2000 km away was uh, minus 0 0.61 dB less and this was nearly the same like last time if we compare this with last time uh, the transmit was minus 0 0.4 but the receiving was uh, uh, better with the 12 radials last time so the change this time the in the receiving the the elevated vertical was the diff also 2.78 dB better. But this time the elevated vertical was in both receiving and transmitting better. Very interesting that this radials uh, low is uh, the radials what uh, the, so this metal, the wires below the elevated radial here that this uh, affects so much the receiving but seems like nearly not the transmitting very very interesting what you see here uh, the charts what i did is uh, i average i will make it give you an example to explain this uh, better if you see this minus six here this uh, corresponds to this minus six if you go to minus 8.5, this is the average of minus 6 and minus 11. If you go to minus 7.67, this is average minus 6, minus 11, minus 6. So this is averaging always uh, from the beginning till to this point. <coughs> so and I made a chart from this and there you can see how this uh, averaging uh, numbers are developing. I wanted to see yeah, this in the chart 
and uh, also the best, also the perfect would it would be if these lines in the end moving parallel because we we have also have uh, the propagation what is changing all the time, so this will go up and down all the time because of the of this change. And also it 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 like oscillates a little bit because. Uh, yeah, the, the, the way the numbers are jumping around, sometimes low, sometimes higher, sometimes low, sometimes higher. So this oscillates and uh, the longer it goes, the less oscillation should be visible in the chart. And here is the result. So the red is uh, the elevated vertical, <coughs> the red here. So uh, nearly 2 dB better. This is the receiving. And uh, this, this is the transmitting. This is so 0 0.61 dB better. Also this, this difference in the end uh, corresponds to this number here. This is the difference between this minus this. And this minus 0 0.61 is the difference between minus 4.56 minus 3.94. This is the what you see here in the end. Uh, not completely correct because uh, in this uh, averaging list I not uh, removed the highest and the lowest number so this these gray boxes I started always uh, some time ago to remove the highest and the lowest number so for example in this row the lowest number was minus 14 and the highest was plus 6 <clears throat> and this is not made here, so you have a, a, a slight uh, different result, but yeah, in the tenth of a dB, dB range you see here is minus 4.15 and uh, here is minus 4.06, here is minus 4.65, here is minus 4.56, here is a little bit more, minus 2.45 with minus 2.28 and so on, yeah, but it's not much, it's not changing a lot because we have already quite a lot of samples. Yeah, this was a lot of, really lots of work because moving this antenna uh, f nearly 40 times, yeah, back and forth. Uh, and I had to make this quick. This is not so easy. Uh, this is good fitness. Yeah. This was it, the result. So the elevated uh, vertical with only one radial beats the ground vertical with 12 radials. So DX Commander, the, uh, the product of DX Commander, it is awesome antennas what he's doing. He can maybe think about testing this too and develop a razor for the antenna where you uh, connect the bundles of, of, uh, of radials over the ground, not on the ground. Maybe this will increase a little bit the performance, even, even better. So yeah, this was it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. First discipline of ham radio Olympics, I've just figured out you must compare uh, antennas in two configurations so you must carry the antenna around minimum six meter apart choose your digital mode of your choice and make minimum 30 transmissions and in between always changing the position you will lose lots of pounds you will feel much more healthy in your shack